Hey everyone, welcome back to Intro to DJing. In the last video, we looked at setting static beat grids in Rekordbox. In this video, I'll show you how to set dynamic or elastic beat grids. So right now I have this track, it's a transition track, and this goes from 120 beats per minute to basically 95, and this is the song Twerk by Cardi B. So what it's gonna do is I'm gonna load it in, and it's gonna try to detect the tempo, but it kinda doesn't know what to do with it um, it gets it at 95, but the song actually starts at 128. So if I play it, just by looking at it, we can see that the beat grid is off. So how do we deal with this? How do we actually fix a beat grid like this where it changes throughout? Well, what I'm gonna do is move to my beat grid edit function. And what I wanna do is of course, mess with my phrases. So you can do this with phrases if you want to. Um, that's a little bit more advanced. So I'll show you the way that I tend to do it that I think is the easiest. So as before, what we're gonna do is set our first downbeat and we're going to set our grid. And what I'm also gonna do is basically set a tempo for the start of the track. Now I know this starts at 128 beats per minute. So as long as I set my downbeat at the correct place, which I'm gonna do here, it should lock the rest of the beats in. Sure enough, we got it correct. So this is the transition part of the track where it goes from 128 to 95. So you can hear it kind of slowing down. And this is the point where it's now at 95. So what I'm gonna do is line my beat marker up to that point and then click this button which makes an adjustment from the current position. So now what I've done is I basically added a new beat marker at this point. And what I can do, of course, is do this to basically make an adjustment either from the current position or at the whole track. So from the current position, oops, I'm gonna basically click this button and now just type in the new tempo, which is 95. And notice how what's happened is, is it still gridded the previous part of this track, but starting from this point, it's now got it's now on a new grid. And we can see this by then going to the end of the track and just making sure it's on that particular point. So sure enough, as we see here, it has gotten that particular point. Now, if we were using the phrase editor, we could actually add choruses and markers and change those to be different tempos, but I don't think we need to do that. All we need to do, once again, set your first beat grid to where it starts, and then basically click this button whenever you need to make an adjustment, and what'll happen is it'll start gridding the track at that new tempo, which you can then adjust. So basically what you do, start, adjust the tempo, basically add a new, adjustment from the current position every time you need to update the, t the BPM from that point forward. And once you do that throughout your entire track, you will now have the whole thing gridded. So of course, if I lock the analysis because I'm happy with the result, we can see here that as it starts out at 128 and then notice how here on the record, what's displayed here, it then jumps to 95 once the tempo actually changes in the track, which is what I need it to do. So hopefully you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.